All right, Oz here, and I am at Kale's Irish Pub, downtown Portland, Oregon, having a cigar and about to whip some Excel on you. We're going to talk more about joins, specifically aggregating joins, and these are weird. I've got some sets of data, and I already have the table set up, so we're going to dive straight in and talk about these joins. We've got two sets of data here. And we can see Angus has worked three hours at French Cove, and he's negotiated $45 an hour. Angus has four entries here for a total of 18 hours. We would like to collapse these down so that we can see 18 and multiply that times 45. So let's jump in and do a join. Data. Get data. Combine queries. Merge. Put hours up top, rates on the bottom. We're going to do a full outer join. Match up the name and name. Okay. Now we see our left side is already open. The right side is collapsed. Let's open that up. Aggregate and see we only have the option to sum the rates. We don't want to do that. So that's the first thing we see. The data set that needs to be aggregated needs to be on the bottom, our, our right side. Okay, let's do it again. Combine queries, merge. Put the rates up top, hours on the bottom, name, name. Let's do a full outer join. Okay, expand, aggregate, let's do a sum of hours. We don't want this prefix. Okay, now we can get our rate. Add column, custom column, pay equals rate times sum of hours. Okay, there we go. File, close and load to existing worksheet. We'll put it right here. Okay. Now we see some interesting things here. Notice Charlie and Gordon are here, and that is because we had the rate on the left side. So it's going to count everything on the left side. And it's showing us them even though they don't have any hours. Now we see Chanel did nine hours of electrical work. And that should be paid out at $110 an hour. She did six hours of painting at $70 an hour. So we would like to have a total of that. But this is messy. Watch. Data. Get data, combine queries and merge. The thing we want to aggregate needs to go on the bottom. Task hours, task rates go on the top. Let's do a full outer join, match the tasks and tasks because I can't match people in tasks but that's really what I want aggregated so let's go OK expand see we got a problem aggregate I can get a count of the people but I can't get something that's gonna show me how many hours I need to pay Chanel for electrical work. Can't do that here. Here's what we can do. We can group. Okay. Let's go to this query, which is the tasks hours. Edit. I want to group by. Advanced. Group by people. Add grouping group by task and then 
a sum of the hours. Okay. Now at this point, we don't need to do any aggregation. We just do a straight join. So let's close and load this to the workbook. Now we can do a left outer join. Task hours, rates, left outer join, tasks, tasks. Okay, expand. We don't need the tasks anymore. And let's get rid of this prefix. Okay, now let's sort. Sort, and then sort here. Now add a custom column. Equals total hours times rate per hour. Okay. And then we can group again. Home. Group by. People. Pay amount, do a sum of the total column. Okay, now we know how much to pay everybody. Let's close and load this to the workbook. Here we've got a club and we would like members to donate at least a thousand dollars over a year and do 40 hours of community services. Go out and do some good. It'd be nice to have everybody on one row so that we can see Alberta has donated a thousand dollars and Alberta has done 11 hours of good things. But do you see the problem that we have already? These two tables both need to be aggregated and we can only aggregate one at the end of a join. We need to group these individually and then do a regular join. Let's do that. We've got our member contributions. Edit. Group by member. Sum contributions. Okay, so let's close and load it. Now the hours, service, edit, group by member, total hours, sum hours now we can do our merge combine merge queries merge as new because I want a brand new merge I don't want to add on to this existing merge that I'm in now member service member contribution And then full outer join. Okay. Expand. We don't need the member's name and we don't want this prefix. Okay. Close and load this to the workbook. Notice somebody has contributed $225, has done no hours, and there is no name for that person. Why not? Because that person hasn't done any hours. All right, so we have to go back and correct this. Got merge rows. Let's edit. Now, let's do our members. Okay. Now we see Vince is the person who's not done any hours but has contributed $225. Wine 30 Wine Bar in downtown Milwaukee, Oregon. Okay, 
So what did we learn about aggregating joins? Well, you know, I've been playing around with these for a while now, and I'm getting a sense that they're nice to know about, but they are kind of goofy. As we saw, we had one really clear use for aggregating a join. But you saw that there are situations where we're not ready to do the join right away, but to prepare to do the join, the aggregate join is no longer necessary. So I'm curious as to what you get from this. All right, if you have any good uses for aggregating joins, if you use them on a regular basis, if you're doing it on clean data sets, or if there's something that I missed, I'm really curious. All right, so I will see you in the next video.